All right and welcome boys and girls. Today we're gonna be going over the data pack which the Earth server will be using. First of all, if my English should be bad in any way, uh, just forgive me. I'm not a native speaker, as you can hear clearly. Right if we start the data pack the first time, we get the achievement data pack installed. Yet, nothing really interesting happens. But if you go to the world spawn, you'll get an elytra, which will actually break when you land. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing you are the new recipes for vanilla item, which includes four oak planks from one crafting table, putting cactuses into the smoker, which will be much faster, directly composting bird to three bone meal with one grass block in the middle, crafting a light rose by putting two nether stars here, one shulker -shell, shell there, and six stripes of leather white there. Crafting slime blocks by honey blocks, which are then colored green. Smoking rotten flesh. And finally synthesizing redstone by red dyes and iron nuggets. So now I'm gonna be showing you all the crafting recipes, which are for custom items that I made. I will only show you those which I already added to the server, not those which are in beta. Every custom item will give you a knowledge book, which is then replaced with the actual custom item. As you can see, it's just an item retextured by placing two ingots in, by placing two iron ingots on top of each other. Now to the crafting recipes of the custom blocks which I made. To start with the nether forge, you're going to need one chisel quartz block, six red nether bricks, not the normal bricks, the red nether bricks crafted with nether warts, one iron hopper and a blast furnace. You'll be getting the nether forge. The next custom block that I'm going to show you is the weaponry. The crafting recipe contains one smithing table, one dropper and also seven iron ingots. The last one that I'm going to show you today is the compactor. You're going to need smooth stone two times, one iron block, two iron ingots, an anvil and one piston, which will give you the compactor. So now I'm going to show you the custom blocks, starting off with the weaponry. Here you can see that it has an inventory and the items in it will stay. Second is the nether forge. I'm going to show how to use them correctly in a few seconds. The last one to show you is the compactor. You can either place it on the floor, which will look like this, or you take a block and levitate it to the top. Two blocks won't actually work, just one. Well, now you may ask, what do I do with all those silly blocks? Well, the answer is, you can use them to craft custom items. Starting off with the Nether Forge. Right now, it has only one use. The item you want to melt is going in the middle slot. And the other four slots are going to be filled up with lava buckets. As you can see, the buckets are now empty and the item is molten. Next in the weaponry, you could make a bacon sword. It deals similar damage to a wooden sword, but attacks much faster. Not that fast, but actually it's faster than a normal sword. The feature of it is, you can eat it. Like, if I were you, I would make them and eat them all day long. Like, it's the best invention, isn't it? The compactor will have plenty of uses, but for now, it's just not the case. Anyways, it's possible to crunch cobble into gravel and two gravel into two sand to prevent that one cobble cycles through to sand. Okay, so this is basically just a crusher, as you can see. 
you could automate production by using something looking like this which will automatically produce gravel out of cobblestone as you can see now tuning in with multi-structures okay so what are those silly things named multi-structures well those are just simply blocks placed in a region and commands could detect it so if i place that piston right here i can jump higher at its first stage it'll shoot you about that height if you add one block of emerald below it you can double the length adding another emerald block it'll go even higher and finally the last stage the third emerald block will be shooting you quite high okay so the last thing i want to show you is the grappling hook it's made by iron blocks iron nuggets spruce wood only spruce wood one dispenser and some leads and one lead okay let's just put it in the grid and voila there you have it the grappling hook <laughs> it looks very silly in the left hand but if your inventory contains some arrows you can use it you can grapple by sneaking and release by pressing right click. Next thing is the hot iron stick, which is extremely powerful. Like, enormously powerful. Look at it. Okay, so let's say there are some creepers in your world. Just press right click and they are all gone. And another wave. And another wave. Ouch. Okay, so on this channel I'm going to show you all new items and blocks on the Earth server as well as all changes. So don't mind subscribing and have a great day or night. I'm out.